Hello, my name is Michael and today I will show you how batch processing within Elastic works. So the basic idea of batch processing is to apply the same set of operations to more than one image or a data set. So I will now load an image, train a classifier and then automate the classification of all remaining images. So please let me start with um, creating a new project. Um, we will add an image um, to this project. Let's just take the first image here. So we click on open. And uh, yes, as you uh, might already know from uh, the other tutorial videos or playing around with Elastic, you can also give a project name and so on. I will skip this here and click on OK. So what we see here is a cerebellar cortex, um, an image taken from the cell-centered database. And uh, well, of course, there's uh, all kinds of different uh, research questions which you could uh, try to answer with Elastic. Uh, we will now um, go for a very simple uh, question um, with a free class problem. So first of all, let's select some features by clicking on Select Features in the Classification tab. And since um, this is a very colorful picture, we will um, go for color features and maybe we should also select some texture features of medium size. Let us click on OK. And now the features are calculated. And um, let's just go for a free class problem here. So by clicking on create class, I create tr uh, three different labels. So let's use the red label um, to uh, label the inside part here. First of all, increase um, the brush size by pressing M. And let's just label some area here. Then I pick the green class and label this part of the image here. Let's just paint something like this. And um, then I pick the yellow class and use that for the background. Maybe I should increase the brush size a bit. So, okay. Now, to check if the labels are already good enough, we go on Start Live Prediction. And uh, we see what Elastic can predict with those uh, labels. Well, actually, that already looks quite nice. Maybe let me add some yellow labels over here. And um, yeah, I think I'm content with that. So it's a very basic uh, problem. Let's stop the live prediction by clicking on the button. We can also train and predict a classifier by clicking on the respective button. So it's now predicting the labels for all the image pixels. You can have a look at the result by clicking on the segmentation in the overlay, overlay selection dialog. So this is the result that we get. And now um, we would like um, to use the classifier that we have trained to classify the remaining images. So I will now click an, on Automate, on the Automate tab, and then I will select the button batch process. What we now can do is we can select additional images by clicking on the add to selection button and then choosing the respective files on the hard drive. So I go to the same directory, Cerebella Cortex, and now we can select either HDF5 files or images, um, which you can see down here in the drop down menu. I will select images. And then let me just select the images 2 to 4, which we have not used to train the classifier. I click on Open. And now um, we have a list of files which should be processed by Elastic. By clicking on Process, I start the batch process. And Elastic now uses the classifier that we have trained to predict the labels on all of these sets can see that the text is updated down there in um, this uh, text window. And now we get the message that the batch, process, um, batch processing was finished. 
I can then click on OK. And of course, we are now interested in the results that we produced. So I can have a look at the results by going to the Project tab again, clicking on New, and then adding the respective file. So let me click on Add here. And as you can see, uh, we have now three additional um, data files in this uh, folder, uh, which have the same name as the input image uh, with um, the suffix processed H5. So those are HDF5 files. I can select all three and then click on open. So you can see them in the list down there. And then I click on OK. And then um, we have those images uh, within Elastic and by clicking on the classification tab I can then have a look at the classification result which is shown here. Um, so I could of course also switch off the raw data by clicking here uh, which would then um, show you the three different colors so yellow, green and red. And of course I can also have a look at the other images by selecting image 3 or 4 here. So let me just have a look at the result. So you can see they all look quite nice and um, we only have trained on one image and that's of course a big uh, time saver if you can do batch processing here. So I hope that you find this tutorial useful. Have a good day!